Do you know that not all aquarium fish need warm water? The range might be a little more limited, but there are many fascinating species that you can keep in an unheated tank. In this video, I'll be introducing 30 great cold water fish that you can keep in your aquarium. I'll also share some tips on how to keep their water cool and other important information about their care. So let's get started. Japanese rice fish or madaka fish is a great cold water species for nano tanks. They get their name because they are often found living wild in rice paddies. The wild type is not the most colorful fish out there, but they are amazing to watch. A golden variety, as well as some genetically modified glowing varieties, have also been developed if you're looking for more color. These tiny schooling fish will be happiest if kept in groups of eight or more. Sunset platy is one of the most colorful freshwater species out there. They're addicting to watch swim around in the tank. There aren't very many fish with a bright yellow that can compete with the sunset variatus platy. If you're looking for a cold water fish that adds a lot of color, we recommend giving these creatures a shot. There are dozens of species of Corydoras, several of which are cold water fish, but the panda cory is the most commonly available one that tolerates lower temperatures. They can survive a range from 65 degrees to 80 degrees. They're peaceful which gives you a lot of options when it comes to tank mates as well. Panda Corydoras are often used in community tanks because of this trait. Galaxy Rasbora, also known as the Celestial Pearl Danio, is a beautiful small schooling fish that only reaches a size of 1 inch. They have a gray body speckled with white spots and occasionally have orange fins. This fish does not do well at temperatures higher than 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and they prefer temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees. Gold Barb is a really popular choice for cold water aquariums due to its hardy nature and beautiful bright colors. This fish can brighten up even the dimmest tank with its vibrant yellow. They're a very mellow and easy-going fish that is compatible with plenty of other species as well. It's recommended to keep this fish in a school, so that's why they can't get away with super small tanks. Rainbow Shiner is definitely used to cooler waters and is known for its brilliant purple and pink spangling, especially during mating season. These torpedo-shaped fish grow to 3 to 3.5 inches long and can be kept with other peaceful fish that enjoy similar water parameters. You should keep them in a school of six or more. These fish are great for cold water aquariums since their natural temperature requirements are quite low. A lot of the time they don't even need heaters. Fancy goldfish will get along with many other species and don't require a lot of effort to keep healthy. There are usually some species-specific details you need to be aware of, but nothing extreme. The Odessa barb is a very attractive schooling cold water aquarium fish. It has black ringed scales, black spotted fins, and a bold red stripe down its middle. Alone, they look stunning, but when schooling in a large group, they are breathtaking. They need to live in temperatures between 59 and 77 degrees and are great candidates for community tanks. This species is one of the more unique creatures on the list. With their cool flat built, this fish will stand out among almost any other species. The reason hillstream loaches have a low and flat body comes from their natural habitat. These creatures spend their time in waters with very fast currents. This build allows the fish to park themselves on a surface without working hard just to avoid getting swept away. The paradise fish is a beautiful species of gourami, reaching about 4 inches in length. The males have beautiful flowing fins and striking, bright coloration across their bodies. They prefer temperatures between 61 degrees and 79 degrees, which should be perfect for an unheated aquarium. The paradise fish is easy to feed and does work well in community aquariums when living with appropriate tank mates. The Endler's Livebearer is a fantastic cold water fish for your aquarium. They're not only quite colorful and pleasing to look at, but they're easy to care for as well. When it comes to water temperature, they have an acceptable range of 64 degrees Fahrenheit to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. This is not only very generous, but rather chilly as well. We recommend these fish to pretty much any aquarist. They're great for anyone looking for cold water fish but are a strong choice in general. This cold water rainbow goodyet aquarium fish is a live bearer that is not often seen in the aquarium hobby despite its relatively easy care and small size of 2 inches. 
since they are not especially colorful, good eads tend to be more popular with lovers of exotic, rare aquarium fish. They prefer temperatures between 62 and 75 degrees, with higher temperatures being extremely harmful to them. The clown killifish is a gorgeous species that has gotten a lot of attention in recent years. With a minimum water temperature tolerance of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, you can keep these in colder tanks without any issues. They're very peaceful as well which allows you to match them with a variety of other species. Mosquito fish is a very neat species that is often kept in ponds. However, some aquarists like to keep them in tanks as well. These fish get their name from their aggressive consumption of insect larvae. This is why so many people consider them one of the best pond fish. These fish will keep things bug free. They will show some situational aggressiveness from time to time, but that's not very common behavior. Dojo loach is one of the most enjoyable fish to watch. They're quite active and friendly, so they're always up to something. With an ability to thrive in water temperatures as low as 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the dojo loach should be at the top of your list for fish that don't need heaters. They'll be just fine. The Empire gudgeon has some of the most interesting fins out there. There are very few fish like it. In fact, most of the aquarists who know about them are ones who like keeping cold tanks. As you can see, they can thrive in a wide range of water temperatures. This is a fairly low maintenance fish as well. You will have to navigate some aggression from time to time, but if you set them up with a great habitat from the start that won't be a problem you have to deal with. If you're a fan of the color red, you'll love this fish. Rosy barb species is quite vibrant and will add a whole new visual dynamic to any aquarium they're kept in. This gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to the kind of habitat you want to keep them in. When you combine this with their ability to handle cooler water they get even more appealing. The axolotl is an interesting creature that has rapidly grown in popularity over the last few years. While we're including them on our list of the best cold water aquarium fish, they're technically salamanders. Another common name for them is the Mexican walking fish because of the way they move around the water. While they definitely swim, you'll also see them using their arms and legs to walk around the tank as well. White Cloud Mountain Minnow is a great freshwater fish that can thrive in colder temperatures. They're a species that not many people pay attention to, but that's something we've never understood. These fish are often compared to neon tetras since they look rather similar. They're quite affordable, easy to care for, and are compatible with many different kinds of fish. Bloodfin tetras are a species we absolutely love. When it comes to setting up their habitat there's not much to worry about as well. They can thrive in cold water, a range of pH levels, and a variety of decorations and layouts. Simply drop in some plants and you'll be just fine. This is one of the most popular species in the freshwater aquarium community as a whole, and they make great cold water fish. The bristlenose pleco has a very interesting look that can't be ignored. On their head and nose area, they have a series of appendages that protrude in various directions. This is why they're also called the bushy nose pleco. One-sided live bearer is not found in very many tanks. In fact, there's still some debate about their ideal water parameters. But what's clear is that these are great cold water aquarium fish. The one-sided live bearer is a simple, yet elegant fish that can thrive in low temperatures. This species is hardy, easy to care for, and peaceful. We're huge fans of the least killifish, especially if you plan on keeping the water temperature a bit on the low side. This small fish is very easy to care for and is a great option for anyone looking for a species that won't take up a lot of their time. Most of the aquarists we know keep a ton of these fish in their tank. Because of their small size and peaceful nature, you can keep them in large groups and with a wide variety of other species. These little critters are one of our favorite freshwater catfish species to keep in cold tanks. They're hardy, peaceful, and very easy to care for. These fish have an extremely interesting look that makes them stand out compared to many other species. It can be hard to spot them at times. Their bodies are very textured and they almost look like they've been rendered by a bunch of polygons. The pygmy sunfish is a very pretty species that's one of the best fish for cold water aquariums. The funny thing is not many people know about this fish. Out of all the fish on this list, 
the pygmy sunfish is up there in terms of its ability to handle low water temperatures. With a minimum of 45 degrees Fahrenheit, it's hard to find another species that matches. The zebra danio has a loyal following in the freshwater aquarium community. This is partly because they're so pretty and partly due to their ease of care. These are one of the most beginner-friendly fish out there. You can keep them in small and cold aquariums, and you don't have to worry about their diet or interactions with other fish. Uppies are one of the most popular pet fish on the planet. They are very adaptable and do just as well as cold water fish as they do in a community tank with tropical fish. These peaceful fish have been bred to display an amazing variety of colors. Guppies are live bearers, which means they give birth to live fry instead of laying eggs. Mono shrimp is a social animal and should be kept with at least two others of its own kind. They are one of the best aquarium organisms for eating algae and they get approximately two or three inches long. They're very tolerant of temperature and live comfortably between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, though they are most commonly kept at the higher end of their temperature range. Cherry shrimp are very popular among fish keepers because of their bright, skittles-like colors, fondness for eating algae and leftover fish food, and ease of breeding. Start with 10 to 20 shrimp for a 10-gallon aquarium, make sure they have enough calcium and minerals in their water, and soon you'll be overrun with beautiful dwarf shrimp. Koi are cold water fish but thrive in water temperatures between 59 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Because their metabolism reacts to the temperature of the water that they live in, you'll want to be sure your pond has both shallow areas as well as spaces that are deep enough so it does not freeze to the bottom. <laughs>